Sunrise, sunrise Looks like morning's in your eyes But the clock's at 9.15 for rounds Sunrise So once again, I am at American Animal Hospital in Nina and they have one of my foster cats inside, Belle. She went into labor this morning and delivered one very sickly little baby and the second one was stillborn. And so I called Dr. Melissa Heenan and she advised that I bring the kitty in right away as the baby was kind of stuck. So they've had her all day and she gave birth to one other alive kitty. And now I'm gonna check on her and see how she's doing. They have been just amazing to fit me in today in an emergency. And Mama Belle is doing very well, thanks to the caring staff at American Animal Hospital. And she just had her fourth baby, which Amy has in this tiny little towel. Oh, there's the baby. And Julie's taking real good care of her, so we're going to x-ray her and make sure there's no other babies in there. And Belle's other two babies are still alive and thriving, hoping that they make it through is a little girl, and then a little boy who's black and white. Belle's being such a good girl. She's purred through this entire process. She's such a sweetie. And this is Dr. Melissa Heenan, who has done a fabulous job today saving Belle and three of her babies. So we're going to x-ray her now and make sure there's no more babies in there. Okay. <laughs> Let me show you the x-rays. <laughs> Guess what? She has how many more kittens? Two more. Two more in there. Two more. Thanks a lot, Dr. Melissa. I know. Great. <laughs> Belle. But they're living. They're living, that's good. <laughs> so we've now moved Belle back into the exam room. Julie's got her all snugly up here. She's gonna get some rice bags. And we're gonna wait for the other two babies to arrive. One has its head pointed downward, so it's due to come out soon. And hopefully Belle can get comfortable there and shoot those babies out. <laughs> Poor little one. Okay, so we've got the that's, camera that's there, like and Kathy Julie warmed it up. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna tube feed Spitfire. The girls have named the baby Sassy, Spunky. Those are Sassy and Spunky, girl and boy, and Spitfire. This is the new baby girl. There you are, honey. Oh, look at that red, blue, pink nose. Okay, so she's putting the milk in there. Okay. So if you so. see the line right here, that's uh -huh. as far as we want to go in the okay. kitten. Okay. Um, so then just kind of open up his, her mouth here. Yeah. Watch that. Should I put this in the fridge? This is tube feeding the kitten. You gotta put the tube down their throat because mama's not feeding them. So we gotta improvise. And I'm just slowly putting the tube in. All right. You can see how well that's going in. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna it go right to the line. All right. And then very slowly. And you squeeze the milk into the baby. Very, very slowly. She's getting her nutrients that way. Spitfire. I love her name. <laughs> well done. Good girl. And just pull the tube out. There we go. And how often do you do that? Just every two hours. About every two hours. Two hours, okay. You're kind of chilly. And now we're weighing them, and she is a full 85 grams. <laughs> just a monster. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Here's your face. Oh, oh my it's a baby bow. <laughs> That's Spitfire. So Julie just warmed up their rice bag. That's what's underneath here to keep them warm. And Sassy is making her way on the rice bag. <laughs> Spitfire just yet let out another yelp. She is going to be a Spitfire for sure. <laughs> Belle is meeting her babies. She just leaned over and wanted to give little uh, Spunky a kiss on his head. So Belle 
elbow. The kitty's coming out of bell breach. Yeah, and it's foot first. So we got two little feet. Give me a good push, sweet pea. Looks like the sack is already rupturing. There we go. Good, good girl, girl. girl. Good girl. Good girl, Bell. Okay. Give me one good push. Ooh. There we go. Oh, good girl. Good job. Oh, good girl. Good girl, Bell. Yep. I am so glad that I'm here. There. Go. Oh, please. Here. Oh, yeah, that's a good kitten. Good work, Dr. Melissa. You're awesome. Thank you. Let's just keep Thank them all going. So Do you still have a suture in here? Yeah, it's probably on the table. Otherwise, I might have to go grab another piece. Yeah. Oh, yep, right it's here. a calico, just like she mommy. is. <laughs> oh. So then we know you're a she. <laughs> Yeah. Good girl, Belle. What yeah, a good so mommy. Good. Oh. Okay. All right. Hello, Belle. Yeah. So now she's taking the suture. The umbilical cord. What's your It's calico. Oh. She was breached, so Dr. Melissa delivered her. Oh, no. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. She was so good. She's been so good all along. She has an amazing yes, little mama. Is the other one breach or not far enough along yet to know? Not far enough to know. Hopefully, we'll see you in another week or two. Well, and they can be a couple of days apart in terms of age. Oh, okay. So, can I have scissors, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Somebody's ringing. No, that's me. Okay. It rings all the time. I just ignore it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Carrie will tell you that. <laughs> okay. See the one big section. Okay. The umbilical cord is being cut. And there we go. Okay. Next up, rubbing the heck out of the little baby. Yeah. Yep. Get her to come to. Yep. Oh, it's Meow. Oh, oh, you know that the one. First words. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Mama? Mm. You're being a good Mama. Belle, Belle, she should be Baby Belle. Yeah. <laughs> like the baby cheese. Baby Belle and Mama Belle. <laughs> You got a little something in your shirt. Huh? She's had one? Um, Linda's on the phone. She wants to know if you're still shooting from 4 o'clock. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. Look at those markings. Little baby calico. You are a cutie pie. To stimulate the blood flow and breathing. Breathing. Lots of help and support meow. from the staff, oh. too. <laughs> Let's get another little squeak out of you. Huh? Come on, can you squeak? Can you give a squeak? Mm. Super yeah. spiffy yeah. gram scale. Yeah. So now we're wing oh, sparkles. Cool. What is the sort of this cat? There she is. Whoa. I know sparkle. We'll get 69, 69 grams. 69 grams. Oh, yes, we'll get you some food. Do you want to... Oh, kitty cute. So now Sparkle's getting her food. Oh, yeah, baby. Yum. 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 So you just shove it down? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. And in fact, the mm. second one was, like, trying to suck more in and climbing right up the yeah. tube. Yeah, there. Just like this one. Yeah. I always slowly get our little like, drop food. Or two, and if they cough, then pull out and reposition. Good girl, she's hungry. 
computer. <laughs> like, mm. <laughs> right. a little tongue. Oh Aww. my god, you are adorable. See, she's trying to swallow on her own. This is Belle. Her babies made some squeaks as so she was looking down at them. They're all comfy and cozy on their rice bag. And there's Belle Belle. She's been purring and eating the entire time. She is just the awesomest. Yes, you are. Look what you did, Belle. Look at the babies. This is Sassy, Sparkle, Spunky, and Spitfire. Three girls and Spunky, this white one with a spot on his head, is the boy. So we are happy to report that our sweet little Belle is all done having babies. We did one more x-ray on her and there are no more babies in there. So she's got four little babies to take care of and we're going to get her washed up and take her home soon. Back to her foster home. She takes one, I take one. <laughs> oh, look at the babies are doing well. <laughs> oh, thank you. So we are replacing their rice bag now. I've decided I want to name this one Spuds McKenzie because he's white and he's a boy and he has funny little black spots on him. So we're going to make the new rice bag over here so they keep warm. The babies are all snuggled up together. Four little babies. All in a row. It doesn't get much cuter than this. And we're doing one more feeding before we send them home. Sassy's getting her milk. Dr. Heenan's giving her milk. Yeah. She's been really good at the tube feeding. And Mama Belle is looking on making sure everything is okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. and we're hoping we can teach her to feed them so we don't have to do this in the future. And there we go. Oh, and now she's going to show me how to make the little babies go potty, yep. which is also very important. So take a warm cotton ball. Yep, warm wet cotton ball. And I, I hold them, you know, so the, the way they would normally be sitting. Okay. And we just kind of rub the back end until okay. they pee. Rub the back end until they pee. Oh, Hi, Belle. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So that's what that is that's, to it. That's all there all is to right. it. Belle, those are your babies. You saying hi to your babies? <laughs> She's mm. not sure how to get in there without stepping on them. Don't step on this one. Are you going to groom your babies, Belle? You, know, you say hi to your babies? She's like, I don't fit in this box. We'll get you comfy soon, Belle Belle. Oh, she now fit in mama. the box. Oh. What a she good mama. She Good mummy bell. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, she looks so tired though. Oh, you've had a long day. You need to protect your babies now. So, I know, it's wet and yucky. Out. They're all clean so she can be nice and healthy and dry to take care of her babies. Good girl, Belle. <laughs> it's picture time as they're ready for heading out. Belle has snuggled up with her babies. Yay, Belle. So proud of you. So getting ready to go to the foster home, which was me last week and is going to be Natalie this week. Lucky her. Yeah. Aww. Already go home. Nothing I could hide when I see we.